At 21, he was told he had just two years to live. His body would shut down. His voice would fade. But his mind, it would echo through the universe. This is Stephen Hawking, a man who stared into the abyss of time and space and made it a little less scary for the rest of us. He was a physics student at Cambridge University in England when he was diagnosed with ALS, a disease that slowly paralyzes the body. It was 1963, and the doctors gave him two years to live. They said his mind would remain sharp, but everything else would slowly slip away. And they were right. But what they didn't know was that Stephen Hawking was just getting started. You see, Stephen wanted to unlock the secrets of the universe, to understand how it began and how it might end. But life had other plans. It threw him a curveball, a diagnosis that should have ended his dreams before they took flight. But Stephen refused to give up. As his body began to shut down, he dove deeper into his work. He studied black holes, time, space, and the Big Bang. He wrote about these complex theories, equations, and concepts that most people can barely comprehend. And he did it all while staring death in the face. It wasn't easy. There were days when he couldn't get out of bed or when he couldn't speak because the muscles that control our speech were some of the first to go. But Stephen found ways around these obstacles. He developed a computerized voice that allowed him to communicate with the world, and he used a wheelchair to get around. Throughout all of this, he continued to teach and publish books. His work became more and more popular, and soon he was a household name. His book, A Brief History of Time, sold over 25 million copies. He appeared on television shows like Star Trek and The Simpsons. He even met President Obama. But for Stephen, it wasn't about the fame or the fortune. It was about the message. He wanted to show the world that no matter what obstacles we face, we can overcome them. In a BBC documentary, he said, I've always tried to make the most of my abilities rather than focusing on my disabilities. Stephen Hawking died in 2018 at the age of 76, but his legacy lives on. He changed the way we think about the universe and he inspired millions of people around the world. He was a true genius, a man who defied the odds and moved the world with his mind. So, next time you look up at the stars and wonder about the universe, remember Stephen Hawking, the man who turned limitations into genius, the mind that defied time.